Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to showcase all the maxed out specializations for cardio, wits, fighting, and shooting. There are four possible specializations for each skill, which means we'll be going over 16 specializations today. I will cover the learnable skills such as medicine in another video. For this video, I will be brief and just state what I'm showing in the gameplay. Acrobatics. This is the dodge. This is the flying strike. Marathon. You can sprint for free when traveling light or lightly encumbered. And when you're encumbered a little, that's how much the stamina bar goes down. Backpacking gives you more stamina, lets you carry more weight, and gives you an extra pocket. I have two extra ones because of resourcefulness. Powerhouse lets you grapple zombies from the front. I'm also using close combat in this clip, which is why the animation is so short. This is the drop kick. And this is the throw. I'm on my last legs here. You can also use the drop kick to stun the pharaoh, and then you can execute it. Discipline lets you carry more while still being lightly encumbered. If you didn't know, when you're traveling light, you use less stamina for meleeing and sprinting. Discipline lets you get back a little bit of stamina for each melee kill. Stealth. This is the sprinting while crouched. And this is the quick stealth kill. I can't keep going so fast. Here the door is locked. I press control to back off. Just crouch and use the silently open lock doors perk. Resourcefulness gives you an extra pocket and you can have larger stacks of consumables. Scouting basically lets you see all the enemies on your mini-map. My favorite part about scouting is that it lets you see loot crates through walls, which makes looting a lot less of a pain. Endurance gives you a lot more health and negative 50% injury severity. This character has both a negative 50% injury severity trait plus the negative 50% injury severity from endurance. I still get injured, but only a little. Oh yeah, so this is the slam attack. Once you max out close combat, you can kill standing enemies, but you have to make sure your melee weapon is unequipped. It's not exactly killing standing enemies, more like taking them down. Also, your the animation of taking them down can be interrupted by the other zombies. And this is the shove attack. Sword play. This is the leg sweep. This is executing standing enemies. Striking. This is the Grand Slam. Knockdown. 
Knocking down zombies with the normal hits is also very effective. Weapon handling. My weapon is broken. All I have to do is aim down sights, press the shoot button, and the weapon will be partially fixed for free. Sharpshooting. This is a demonstration of the firearm dismemberment and the all shots pierce enemies perk. Firearm sway comparison. Assault. This is kicking normally. I have to let go of the aim down sights to kick. This is kicking with assault. I can hold down the aim down sights and kick. The only real difference is the assault kick knocks down the enemy. Recoil test. Gun slinging. Basically hacks. This is really useful for killing ferals. Reload speed comparison. Okay, that's my last match. You might be wondering at this point what the best specializations are. In my opinion, they are all good. It comes down to your preference and playstyle. A popular specialization combo is powerhouse and close combat, which I showed you when showing the powerhouse specialization. I'm more of a gun guy and gun sway doesn't bother me so I just pick whatever gives me the best health and stamina. If you want to rewatch any specific specializations, the timestamps are in the description. If this video helped, please leave a like and consider subscribing. There will be a part 2 showing the maxed out learnable skills so if I made any mistakes in this video, comment down below so I can address that mistake in the next video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.